Hello, crappie fishermen. How you doing tonight? Out here in the old shop getting things ready for crappie fishing next week. We're going to talk about the top baits for 2020. My idea, anyway. So let's run over that. Give you some ideas. What do we have here? Well, these here is a copy of Jim Carman's down in Florida. He takes a number number two, get the light on it right, number two, that says E14, I'm not sure that's right. Get on there until you can see it. 214 e ELF, it's a light wire pan hook. And the reason he uses that is you can bend this hook out straight, put this bead on it, Put whatever color balls you want. Put a little skirt on it. And he tips them with a minnow. And he uses those to catch crappie. And does a great job at it. You can find him on YouTube or Facebook. And uh, he's fun to watch. He uses eight poles. And trolls about 1.4 miles an hour. And uh, catches, catches lots of crappie. So that's one idea if you like to use minnows. This just helps the crappie catch their eye. And that minnow on the bottom of it makes it makes it work for him. After that, if you're fishing in a pond, I found out these uh, panfish assassin, assassin. They're orange, and they really work good. I apologize for the shadow of the camera. And there's some other colors. Of course, the old young three inch grub always is good. The tail action is great. Here's a storm. Looks just like a shad or a minnow. Of course, you have the old original Mr. Crappie type baits. They're always good, they always work. And you have a cheaper model of maxi tails. Of course, all kinds of jig heads. That's one sixteenth and a both of those one sixteenth, one's pink and one's orange. So <clears throat> we got some more we'll look at in just a moment. Of course, some people use a puts a, a cork on it, uses that to help catch them. So <clears throat> I'll use some of that from time to time. And then what about your line? Well, there's all kinds of line. Mr. Crop is pretty popular. That's clear. That's a Mr. Crop is high vis. That's pretty popular. And then whatever else you got in your box, that's a trilene six pound. I've got some ordered, so we'll just see how it goes. We'll try the new stuff when it comes in. One of the hot baits for 2020 is a crappie kicker. In all colors. Also, the beaver tail baits, they are, they are hot for 2020. All colors. They have great action. Look up beaver bottom baits. They are great. Great looking. All color different tails. I think uh, the black and orange is pretty hot on Eufaula and Grand Lake. And I'll find out if they're good on my lake. Here's some more uh, different colors. That's a shad. I figure that'll be great. Also, it's popping. Have you noticed what it says up here? Four inches. Four inches. And I've just got in some uh, new lead heads from old Chris Guffrey down in Texas. There's his uh, email. You can pull him up on, on Google. He makes some great jig heads of all kinds and all sizes. If you want to add a weight to it, here's some uh, 1.25 ounce weights that you can tie on your line to get it down deep. So, this is some of the things we're going to try for 2020. These right here are some Chris made. They are a, a fourth of an ounce. That's a pretty good size. That's what we're going to use on these uh, crappie kicker, four inch ones. We're going to use some white ones too some days and see which one works the best. 
And we got all kinds of eighth inch pink, and eighth ounce, I mean, the eighth ounce white, and then we have some that just plain lead heads, sickle hooks, Mustang hooks. They look great. We're looking forward to that. Here's some pin, a peel head they call them. They look really, really nice. I'm excited about those. Got a little barkeeper up there. Get that where you can see it. So we're excited about using that one right there. Chris did a great job on those. So be sure you give him a holler. I call these hot pink. Number two hook. And I've also got some with a number one hook. So I'm gonna see which ones I like the best, which ones work the best. They're sickle type hooks. Mustang brand. Here's some more I got from him. I got out a couple to show you what they look like. Of course, a lot of people bend that out just a little bit more to help them catch them. So how are you going to rig that? Well, with this new method, I tried to tie a loop knot. Embarrassed how bad that looks, so I'll have to redo that. But I was just trying to get something put together right quick. This is the quarter ounce lead, uh, jig head with that four ounce bait tied to it and they say the, that that tail when it's under the water it never quits moving so you might want to try to find you some crappie kickers and try that out Todd Huckleby uses these and he's a big guy over in Oklahoma these uh gonna put that on the bottom and up about two foot we're gonna put a crappie uh, I mean a beaver tail I've got a fixed loop knot on that one but I just tied that together right quick to show you. That's going to be on top, uh, eighth ounce, and on the bottom, quarter ounce. So that's some of the hot, hot baits for 2020 crappie fishing here in Arkansas. And uh, if you're like me, you got more stuff than you need. So figure out what you're going to try. Good luck to you. So don't forget to give Chris. Some business on his crappie tackle. Guffrey tackle down in Texas. I'm real happy with what I got. It'll last me two or three years, I imagine. So I've got a bunch of them. I'm retired, so I got plenty of time to get online and order stuff. But these uh, crappie kickers, they are hot. Four inches. I never used one that big, but some of them say they they like a big bait in the winter time, early spring. So we're gonna try that next week. Maybe I can give you a video on how how well we did. So from Arkansas, this is Floyd. Hope you enjoyed the little little uh, look over at some of the hot baits coming up in 2020. Good luck fishing. Talk to you later.